This is the famous road between Bologna and Florence where Ducati tests and develops its production motorcycles. A modern Ducati is defined as much by its electronics as it is its V-twin and V4 engines. We spent the day in Borgo Panigale talking to engineers to find out more. Andrea, so when we talk about electronics in motorcycles, what are we talking about? Well, electronics is quite wide in motorcycle because electronics is something which um, help you uh, in, in many areas. First of all, in terms of safety, so electronics intended for safety, so to improve your safety of your ride. Uh, another area of, of improvement is for your pleasure, to improve your comfort. Uh, so uh, we can think that uh, that electronics is a mix between safety and, and and comfort. I think. Okay, and what are those systems precisely? We talk about rider aids. We talk about uh, various things like yeah, that. We we have a lot of system with the bike. Talking about uh, our flagship multistrade with four, where we put our cutting edge electronic. We have a lot of. Uh, Electronic system and function, uh, comfort oriented and safety oriented. We ranging, we range from, we ranging from uh, ride by wire with power mode, uh, traction control with multi level wheelie control. Uh, um, we have uh, semi active suspension, uh, front radar with adaptive cruise control, rear radar with blind spot detector, connected cluster with the possibility to mirror your smartphone, both Android and iOS system, in order to mirror a navigation map, I mean a cartographic navigation map, so it's not a turn-by-turn -turn based system. And then we have a full LED lighting. Uh, we have function like minimum preload, which means that the system, when you ask the function, and you are approaching the traffic light, so you have to stop the bike, the bike can lower, and then you can reach uh, the ground easily. And when you restart, the system move up again the bike autonomously. We have uh, full, LED, full LED cornering light, uh, which improve uh, your safety while riding during the night. We have so many, so many electronics which follow a strict process of development in order to assure the quality of our customers. And essentially what we're talking about is any area that the rider is interacting with the motorcycle, at this point a lot of those are covered by electronics, so ride-by-wire throttle, yeah. brakes, shifting, yeah. uh, of course the way the engine is controlled, all of that is really, electronics are in yeah. essence the brains behind the motor, the brakes, maybe the rider to some degree too as they intervene. Oh, well, uh, the, rider, uh, the, rider, the rider is still the rider. The rider uh, have the pleasure of ride in, a, let me say, in an environment or in a, in, a, in a way to have, let me say, a more um, comfort experience and more protected experience, protected by electronic systems. Um, you are, let me say, in a public road. You are in a public road. You are in a you are not in a closed environment. So uh, I think that electronics enhance uh, this kind of, uh, uh, let me say, experience because leave you the possibility to have this experience in a more comfort and safe way. So how has technology transferred from the racing world, MotoGP and World Superbike, to production motorcycles? Thank you for the question. So uh, we have a strict relation between uh, uh, racing and production motorcycle. Uh, our journey uh, regarding uh, tra transformation um, in terms of electronics on production motorcycle started in 2008 with the 1098R. That was the first motorcycle equipped with uh, production motorcycle, equipped with uh, a traction control. So at that time we understood uh, in production the need of starting to develop our own software. Uh, that software of this bike came exactly from racing, obviously adapted for a production motorcycle because between racing and production there are some differences. Firstly, you don't have professional rider. Uh, secondly, uh, you, you are not in a closed environment like in a circle, you are in public road. And third, you need to have a bike homologated. 
So uh, there are some differences, but uh, it's relevant to get the, 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 the competencies and the experience um, from the racing to, to get some ins and to get some, let's say, uh, faster deploy on production motorcycle. And this is what we do since 2008. Since 2008, uh, we deploy uh, software control strategy in our production motorcycle. We develop our own software, both for what we call vertical dynamics, which is suspension, so semi-active suspension. The software is our own software. And even for what we call lateral dynamics, like traction control, um, wheel control, uh, launch control, uh, and uh, slide control. So, uh, the, the history and the story started in 2008. Okay, and since then, how much more sophisticated have they become? Oh, a lot, <laughs> really a lot. You have a lot of freedom. Uh, and um, if you have the approach of, of never give up and finding uh, really new improvement, and this is like we do, uh, here by here, we release new improvement, and we, we do step by step new additional function. Doing this and following this methodology, when you look behind, you say, oh, how far we were. Yeah. Yeah. I think that uh, technology and uh, refinement uh, on the software is like uh, when you are looking for, for weight. To make one kilo, you need 1,000 grams. But the software is the same, add step by step and insist on it. In terms of sophistication, how does a, a production Panigale V4, uh, how does its electronic system compare with the sophistication of a MotoGP bike? Well, are both two sophisticated bikes. Um, uh, each uh, on their air area of use, so in, 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 in each field, uh, I think that they are uh, at really at very high level. Uh, since here uh, we are recognized as a kind of reference for production motorcycle in terms of vehicle dynamics, uh, software controls, so um, this is due to the, this strict contact between the racing and, uh, and the production motorcycle. So uh, the deploy of this experience from racing to production show that uh, uh, in both, uh, let me say, area on racing, because we won the championship last year, finally, <laughs> and even in production, because we get the feedback from the press, uh, I guess that we are at the cutting, cutting gauge level. Right, yeah. so what is the relationship between Ducati Corsa and the production side, is there a lot of transfer from Ducati Corsa? Uh, we, we have a strict relation, in particular our uh, vehicle testing department, uh, uh, there is a group of, a group of, uh, of people uh, which are in charge of the performances of the bike, so uh, in order to transfer the know-how from racing to production, so that people has uh, a racing experience plus uh, a production experience because uh, in production there are some constraints, as I've explained, which uh, you don't have on racing. So uh, having this knowledge allows you the possibility to understand what can be transferred from racing to production and if what you have in racing can be adapted to production. And this is what we do. Okay. It's, a, it's a continuous refinement. Okay. because. Uh, I think that we are uh, in, a, in a good level, right. <laughs> we are in a good level, and when you are in a good level, to make a, a small step behind, there is a huge effort. Some writers complain that motorcycles have gotten too complicated, there's too much technology and we've lost some of the purity of, of, of being out on a motorcycle. How do you respond to that? Once you have improved your safety, which is the most important, think the advantage of a cornering ABS in terms of safety. Uh, think the advantage of a full LED lighting in terms of illumination. This is safety. It's safety because a, 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 an, an actual headlamp allows you the possibility to see where 20 years ago headlamp didn't allow because the, the performances of the headlamp. Uh, and what about the comfort? Riding extended activation, but having anyway a very powerful engine. 
its comfort. So um, I think that uh, the experience ex has changed, not the pleasure of fright. Mm, yeah. I guess that the experience is improved. This is the, this is the main difference. So. I do not agree regarding the, not because I am, let's say, an electronics guy, but because uh, um, I can uh, mm, provide you many situations where electronics make your experience better. This yeah. is the reason, this, this is the reality. Yeah. Is. We've come a long way. Um, what trends do you see in the future of electronics? Where do we go from here? Looking about technology and electronics in the automotive area, um, as you can see, the two wheel for some topics is a kind of follower for, of the four wheel, so of the automotive industry. Uh, so I think that as the automotive industry is doing since few years, uh, probably one of the trend would be uh, software, software development and connectivity for the future. Uh, regarding uh, new system, new technology that we are developing now, mm, I prefer not to reply. <laughs> we are doing a lot of stuff, but I prefer to keep a secret. You will see the next year. Good, good. And considering the technology at that time, I started immediately, uh, I started on racing department, and considering the technology at that time and where we are today, and what we pass, in terms of development, so mm, research, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's really amazing. It was like fuel injection was what you were doing in 2002, right? And, and, yeah, and now in, in you, we couldn't Moto imagine. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's really amazing. And uh, behind there is a, a huge know-how, really huge. Uh, because I had the lucky to, to see from the first fuel injection till the radar. Right. So I really had the opportunity and the lucky because sometimes you must be lucky. Yeah. Like being in a racing department, it's the meaning of luck. You must yeah. be obviously the right guys, but you must be the right guys at the right moment. Yeah. And being the right moment means be lucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, this has been a great day. It's been fun to, to learn. Ah, really? Yeah. It's great. I'm happy for that. Yeah. 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 Really interesting.